Shalom Aleichem Rabbi Isai. What an honor it is. What an incredible zechut I have to be able to be speaking to the greatest Yidin on planet Earth. Uh, that's just all there is to it. What an incredible honor. So first, I, I have to say to the whole MDY Hevra over here, Ashrechem, uh, Ashrechem. Uh, we say this to each other all the time. So it almost sounds like we're patting each other on the backs, but I think rightfully so. Mazal tov, mazal tov, another mesechta under our belt, but more another mesechta that's in our hearts. And another mesechta of us just gaining, gaining more of a community, gaining more traction with each other, gaining more of a connection. Uh, this is a family that spans. I got to tell you, I was shocked. I, I had no idea when, when, when Ravelli showed up here to Los Angeles. So Harry Shalom got in touch and Harry said, look, we want to do something. Let's get involved. And I figured, all right, you know, we'll be able to get a minion. Hopefully we'll try to bribe some people to stick around for Marav afterwards. Ah, you know, who's showing up? And to tell the truth, we did it. We did it inside really not even like the main part of town. Uh, we did it all. The people in the Valley will yell and scream at me and they'll claim to be in the main part of town. But you know, the main part of town, you can call the from a part of town up in La Brea. We, we, we didn't even tell over there. I think we would have gone there. We probably would have tri tripled our numbers. Incredibly, incredibly, what we ended up having was nearly 100 people pack into the Chazak Center that we have down in the valley. And there was so much love between each other, so much affection. And it all came from that beacon of love that Rev. Ellie was giving to everybody. So thank you for bringing us all together. So first we wanna start off, I think everybody's showing a certain amount of hoda'a, a certain amount of thanks, an amount here of gratitude for Belly Stefanski and for the whole MDY team for bringing an entire faction of Kalal Yisrael together, a kibbutz gullius that happens once a day. How incredible is that? A kibbutz goliath, nothing less than that. That from Arba Kanfei Sa'aretz, Le'art Seinu, that Reb Eli, you go and bring us together from the four corners of the world to you, to Eretz Yisrael, to the beacon, to the place of Tyre itself. Thank you for that. And now just to spend a few minutes over here, I only found out a few minutes ago that I'm going to have this incredible opportunity to be able to speak to the whole Chavra. So it's obviously the Varm that are going to have to, Yotzim Me'alev, they're going to come from my heart because I didn't have any other place to prepare it from. So let's really get into this. I'd like to also thank Harry Shalom. I'd like to thank Shlomo Lazarian, And I'd like to thank all of the LA Yidin. And I really hope that we can put together some kind, Bezat Hashem, maybe see him after Beitzah, but some kind of a something because we got to represent from over here. We got to represent what we have over here and represent as Akarata Tov to Rebellion to MDY to show them how many people they are affecting every single day. So, Botai, we're going into Rosh Hashanah. And to be honest, because I'm coming in as an MDY Haver, I'm coming in with a, maybe a bit too much confidence. And, and, and I know I shouldn't. I know we're not supposed to go into Rosh Hashanah <clears throat> with too much confidence. I understand that. I get that. We're supposed to come in that way, but let's really think about what is it that's going on in Shemayim? What is it that the Abish is going to be giving a look at this year for us? So the concept of what exactly is being judged this year or every single year in Rosh Hashanah, so what was really created on Rosh Hashanah? So everyone says, Hayom Arat Olam, Hayom Yamod Ba Mishpat, we have in the Mansar. And so we would say that the world was created. But we know that's not true. We know that a point in fact, Adam Arishon was created on Rosh Hashanah. The world was created a few days before, but Adam Arishon, meaning the purpose of the world. Hayom Arat Olam is the purpose of the world was created today on Rosh Hashanah. It means that this Adam, this Adam, that his entire purpose, his entire focus of life 
is the fact that he's given Bechira, he's given free will. He's given the ability to choose to have his existence echo with Hashem for eternity. Or, or he can choose to just make a mess of it all. He can choose to just be selfish. He can choose to just disregard that there's a Torah. And he can choose to simply just exist and then to be forgotten about and to be like to just be something that just completely blows away in the wind. We have our choice to build our lives or we have our choice to waste it. It's free will. And the way that the Mechdom Melio describes it is, is that your level, your level, your Nekudata Bechira, your point of free will is going to be decided. How high can your point of choice of what you're going to choose this year, how close of it that you'll be able to get to Hashem this year, what are you going to have? And Hashem decides. Hashem goes according to that. And Hashem says, all right, if we have somebody over here that he's willing to take his nikudata bechira, he's willing to take his decision-making to a much higher level. So what does he need? What do we have to give him? He needs health. He needs money. He needs yeshuot. He needs to have stability. He needs to have peace. He needs to have hope. He needs to feel secure. What is it that this Yid needs to be able to get through so that his choices that he's been making and will be making will come to a fruition that he is upping his level of Nikudata Bechira? What do we have to give him? So is he a worthwhile investment? Is he somebody who's worthwhile to invest in, to go and to then say, yeah, we want to give him all these different things. Well, let's give a look. Let's give a look and see. What kind of a chooser is he? What kind of a person are we dealing with? What kind of choices does this person make? Rabotai, I think that being people who have chosen, chosen learning over sleep, chosen learning over meetings, chosen learning over vacations, or even harder, chosen learning during vacations, chosen learning during meetings, and even chosen learning during sleep. <laughs> we are the few, we are the proud. We are the dafyaimi yidin, that every day, no matter what comes, because we know it's not about the daf, it's about the yomi. We know that it's no matter what gets thrown at us today, I'm throwing myself into it. We are Yidin together who have made decisions throughout this past year. And even if you just joined the Dafyami yesterday, but you're showing somebody who has within himself the grit. He has within himself that push, that drive. He has within himself the want. He has the desire to build the stability that is necessary to become that incredible warrior that is the daf yoimi yid, the one who pushes himself to get out of bed early, or the one who pushes past sleep late at night, or the one who learns how to lock his door to his office and even harder, how to lock his phone. Because right now, right now it's Avish the time. Right now it's time to connect. And right now I'm sitting down with Reb Eli, and right now the rest of the world can just melt away. Because right now, I get to live. Rabotai, we're the few, we're the proud. We are the living. Don't you get it? The Sefer HaChayim. Katvenu Besefer HaChayim. Write us in the book of life. My Rebbe Rav Berkowitz would always tell us. You know what the difference between the book of life and the book of death is? The book of life is for people who truly live. The book of death that's for people who just simply exist. They're the same small person from year to year. They're saying they're sorry for the same thing year after year. They're just in the same place. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. A book of life person. He's bigger than he was last year. He will be bigger 
in the year to come. And he's so much bigger than he was a few years ago. Rabotai, those of us who started from the beginning, we know what it means to live. Even if it's only an hour or so a day, even if it's just that time, but there is nobody, there is nobody who has gone through an MDY Dafya Mishir and then afterwards said, well, that was a waste of time. There was nobody. Every single one of us at the end of it were like, ah, oh, that was the climax of my day today. That was my truly living aspect of my day. And when we come to Rosh Hashanah now and we say to the Abishta, give me life. Give me the ability to keep on living. Give me the ability to keep on pumping away at the Dafyayim, the Abishta. That is my lifeline. That's my real living. I'm alive then. The rest of the world is completely a shadow just around me while I get to bask in the light that is you. Give me that. And we come when we demand our tire, what's your tire of the sin secha. You have to demand what's yours. Ibishta, I want to truly live this year. Give me life. Hashem says, This is somebody who's going to be choosing me constantly. This is somebody who's going to be choosing Torah constantly. This is somebody who we want to have. This is somebody who we want to give him everything possible. We want to give him life, health, happiness, hope, security. We want to be able to give him that feeling of accomplishment. We want to give him shalom bias. We want to give him nachas from his children. We want to give him life because he's choosing to truly live. Rabotai. Those who know, know. Those who know, know. Because it's a misnomer to say that we're only living during the daf. Because afterwards, you turn around and you see on the Zoom how many blian hara, hundreds and then thousands of people that you've gotten to know, that you've gotten to connect with, that you've gotten to, and the stories that come through and the pictures that Rebelli shows us all the time. We're a family. We're a community. It's amazing. Abishta gave us that. And that's the next step. We're a community. I hate to put it this way, but Hashem kind of needs us. We are the people keeping up the world. Now, it's not that Hashem needs us. I know it's a bit much of a lunch, and I get that. But the Abishta is shepping such nachas that there are thousands of Yidim from every shavit under the sun. And we are traveling together like we did in the Midbar once a day. Underneath our flags, whatever it is that we're coming from, but together, we have a once a day. And that's something that the Evishta looks down upon and Hashem doesn't see individuals. And Hashem judges us and therefore, the Zohar brings that on the second day of Rosh Hashanah, we get judged as communities. We get judged as what is needed for the world to keep on going. And so therefore he says that the Tzadikim Gimurim, they get judged on the first day. But then on the second day after the Tzadikim Gimurim get judged, then comes the communities themselves. In my heart of heart, I feel so sad but the people are not a part of the MDY community because we literally are a people who are holding up life itself because every single day, thousands of us at the same time all choose to live, truly live, biyachad. And that is something that I'm coming this year to Rosh Hashanah with. That is something that I plan to come this year. And when I have to explain to Hashem why Ari Ben Shushan is a worthwhile investment, and why the Abishta should decide that this little schnook named Ari Ben Shushan should be granted another year, I'm going to say, I'm a part of something so much bigger. I'm a part of the biggest stuff Yoyimishir in the world. I'm a part of the arteries that open and close every single day in the heart that pumps life into your world, Hashem. So Rabotai, with a few, with a proud. We are the MDY Hevra. 
And we are so, so lucky to have this. So Bezrat Hashem, we should keep on going. And we should keep on picking up more Yidin along the way. As many people as we can, it's really Hatzalat Nefashot. You all know that. This is literally saving lives. Daima. You cannot compare a Yid who goes through the day with having his dafyami and a Yid who goes through the day without his dafyami. It's the difference between simply existing or truly living. And we all, we all choose life. So, l'chaim to everybody. And may we keep on choosing life. A chasiva v'chatima tova. A good gebenched yard to everybody. And a thank you to the Heilig Rebelli Stefanski for being the shliach of the Ebesh Hashem should send you only happiness and health. A koyach to be able to continue and a sense of calm. A sense of fulfillment. And to your wonderful Rebetzin, a sense of fulfillment even more with the responsibility that you've taken on to your incredible shoulders to be the one to be mekabetz minchei amoy Yisrael every single day. Thank you so much. And everybody's tefillot should be answered. Amen ve'amen.